All right, guys, this warm up is not the most ideal warm up. However, it is a great way if you only have a few minutes, you got to the ski lake a little bit late, and you need to do something before you ski. Again, we never want to just go grab the handle and go. We want to be able to warm our body and start to prime it so that it doesn't, it's not a shock to the system, and we don't have to use that first pass to warm up. So again, this is very short. It's a play off of what we've already been doing for the longer and the medium ones. You're gonna start in your plank position. Buns are nice and tight. You're gonna push back to your down dog. You might choose to march through your heels a little bit. Then you're gonna come forward into your plank. Exhale, down dog, inhale into your plank. It's called a dog floss. You have 10 of those. You're gonna follow that up with 10 pass-throughs. So either using a PVC pipe or your ski rope or a band, arms nice and long. You're gonna make that big circle from the front of your hips to the back of your hips, making sure that your glutes are staying nice and tight and that midline is staying with good tension in it. From there, you're gonna go into your perfect stretch, which is gonna be five of them on each side. You're gonna bring your knee up towards your chest, really feeling the balance of the leg that you're standing on. Lunge and reach, lifting that arm up towards the sky, keeping your glutes on nice and tight. Forward fold, bring your leg through and repeat. Knee to chest, lunge and reach, forward fold for three of those on each side. Then you're gonna go into 10 windmill and plank, which is gonna be in your plank position. Feet are just a little bit wide so that you can end up in heel to toe when you rotate. Actively pushing through your arms, squeezing your glutes nice and tight. You're gonna rotate to your side plank, lower your hips down towards the floor, come back up, down to the ground, rotate, lower your hips to the floor, and back up. And you have 10 of those, followed by, if you have time, for one ski drill. If not, then you're gonna go through that course walkthrough, visualizing what you want to happen on the water, happen in your mind. And guys, this is just a reminder that you might already have a warm up that you like, or bits and pieces of your warm up that you're doing that you really like, that you can intermingle with ours. This is just a guideline. You don't have to do it, but we do have to warm up. So do something, maybe choose ours, maybe bring some of yours into ours, or maybe do your own. But whatever you do, warm up before you ski.